I think that uh, I might leave. I have a, a device in the car already, and I might as well leave a hotspot in there too. But if I uh, maybe put a couple extra 440 antennas on it, I might be able to just you know, always use it from the car when I'm inside the house. So that seems like a fun idea, and I'm definitely going to investigate that. Yeah, Roger. Well, this is this is the good thing about um, the digital world. It, it opens up so many possibilities. Um, literally endless possibilities. So, um, yeah, it's really good. I'm really pleased with it. I've got an Anytone 878 as well. I'm using a, a GD77 that I picked up for a little bit less than retail from uh, fest, um, and, uh, I just got a, um, a dual time slot MMDVM board to go on top of the Raspi that came with the original hotspot, but that I could not get the RX offset on, that made me very sad, but this seems to be working very well with the default out of the box. Um, I'm trying to figure out which local repeaters are good and what's the best way to program them in is because it comes with, um, I don't know, a, very, a fairly awkward firm, um, CPS by my standards. I'm used to chirp, but also that's pretty much just that out. M0 FXB, I'll come back with a final. I'm in a bit of a black spot here, so, uh, you might not even be getting me but yeah the best way to learn how a cps works on a, a thing like the md380 is uh just to write try and write one channel um from scratch you know with the zone uh the contact and um you know create a channel blah 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 and then that gives you an idea how how the cps actually works um and then when you when you are copying someone else's one you get an idea Cheers then, M0FXB going clear, 7-3.